Hi, what is up? My name is Mark and um, welcome to my channel and uh, this video is just a, a short video that I just want to actually share with you more especially to the people that uh, want to learn more about fish farming. So if you are new to my channel, please. Okay, so um, I got a question from uh, Facebook or rather I saw a post from Facebook uh, from somebody of course and um, the person was uh, trying to ask a question concerning about uh, what size of pond can I construct given that I have 5,000 fingerlings, okay? So now, first and foremost, um, what you need to understand is um, the number of, uh, the size of the pond, okay, depends on the number of, uh, uh, number of fish that you want to stock within the pond. And as a fish uh, scientist, uh, we I'm, I'm just trying to give you the standards, okay, that you can do follow. Because once you do follow these standards, then you should be able to have uh, a good harvest in terms of uh, when it comes to harvesting your fish. And uh, if you just want to keep fish anyhow, and then I'm, I'm very sorry actually, because that's going to mess up and uh, of course, you will be able. To, you, you lose a lot of money, um, and uh, that's the end of your business in fish farming. So, I I don't want to actually see people quitting fish farming because I do encourage people to venture into fish farming because I know, and I I'm, I'm actually I'm very optimistic how fish farming is changing, uh, the way businesses are uh, you know being done, uh, where people uh, starting stopping other businesses and starting uh, fish farming. It's, it's because uh, of its, uh, you know, um, good output in terms of harvest. So, okay, so now um, answering the question from the Facebook uh, post is that whatever you are trying to know, the size of the pond that you can construct is that you should be able to see or rather understand what are some of the standardization that we must, that must be followed. And if you don't follow them, then I suggest or rather, I say that you are going to expect a lot of complication within your pond. Uh, not only that uh, mere complication, but uh, thing that's going to actually ruin the entire business. And uh, at, the, at, at some point, you might even quit, okay? So the first thing that you must follow is that uh, per meter square, okay? okay. This, this is the starting point, okay? Per meter square is that uh, we need seven fingerlings. Uh, of course, there are people who are putting 8, 9, 10, and I think 10, people are taking 10 to be the maximum. And for me, I'm calculating based on the minimum, I think, that should be able to assist us and uh, um, help us uh, when it comes uh, uh, in terms of our pond uh, management. Okay, this is going to actually be, uh, it's going to actually help us, okay? So now, and then, if that is the case, then what size of the pond can hold 5,000 fingerlings? So when you do a simple math, so you say, I don't know the size of the pond, you put X, okay? And equal to the number of fingerlings, because you do know how much fingerlings you do have. So now, uh, if we do the simple math, uh, this is going to give us a 7, 000, 7x and uh, equal to 5,000, uh, uh, 5,000, yeah. So solving for x, uh, you do that, and then 5,000 divided by 7, this is going to give you 714 meters square uh, size, or rather uh, the pond that you can do construct. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is just uh, an answer from the Facebook uh a post okay i don't know if it, it, if it should be a post I, I think so or probably a comment but nothing that matters but the thing is that um somebody wanted to know how much uh, uh what size of the pond he or she can construct given that um he or she had uh, five thousand finger so that's uh the simple calculation that you can perform and um, you, you, you can go on and uh, start constructing a pond 
that is a 714 meter square capacity okay uh, but but normally that does not actually this is not the volume but this is just the area okay so the area of this uh, of the pond should have 714 so thanks uh, once more for watching so if there are those who want to actually learn more about fish farming aquaculture and everything concerning aquaculture please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also share to the people that you think are interested in this kind of information and it's bye bye i'll see you in the next video